Benjamin Franklin once said, lost time is never found again. As programmers, we have the unique ability to prevent lost time through the power of automation. Like when your Gen Z boss in a mini tells you to put a TPS report on her desk by 5 p.m. Gen Z boss in a mini! We don't do it manually. Instead, we build highly sophisticated automation workflows that look like this. Because why spend one hour doing something when you can spend 10 hours failing to automate it? Hell, some people even pay $500 per month for tools like Zapier to do all the heavy lifting for them. In fact, that's exactly what this guy was doing until he said, screw it, I'm building my own Zapier from scratch. The end result was a platform called N8N, which is an open source, self-hostable automation tool. And no, it's not the sponsor of this video, it's just a truly awesome project that you need to know about, and will change the way you think about automating all the boring work you do in life. In today's video, we'll look at some crazy ways you can use it, then deploy our own private automation system on a Linux VPS. It is September 29th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. First of all, what is N8N? Well, if you know what Zapier is, the easiest way to think about it is like the free and open source alternative to Zapier. It's a tool that allows you to take some input trigger, like a website form submission, a database write, a voice command, a GitHub issue, etc., then take the data from that event and run it through a pipeline of steps that might include third-party apps or your own code. There are literally hundreds of different examples of things you can do. Like if you're a developer, you might run a workflow that triggers on a GitHub PR merge, which goes on to build a Docker image and then notify everybody on Discord. If you're a YouTuber, you might use it to automatically share your content on different social media platforms every time you upload a video. If you're into IoT, you could run a workflow that automatically sounds an alarm when the smart camera detects law enforcement around your compound. Or if you're a degenerate gambler, you could use it to automatically scrape football stats, then use AI to suggest which bets you should place next week. The possibilities are endless, but the crazy thing is that all this can be accomplished without writing a single line of code. Code. Instead, you diagram everything in a flowchart style editor that makes the logic so clear that any non-technical person can approach it. And what's even more crazy is that you can unlock all this power in 5 seconds by simply running npx n8n from your terminal right now. After a few seconds, that'll bring up this beautiful UI where you can start building automation workflows. A UI that was built with Vue.js by the way. We can play around with it on localhost, but if you're serious, you'll want an actual server to host it. This is a serious channel, so today we'll host it for just a few bucks per month on Hostinger, the sponsor of today's video. They're famous for providing Linux-based virtual private servers to host all of your apps without needing big cloud providers. And it's a great place to launch our own private N8N app. And we can do that by selecting a new VPS and a region to host it in. From there, we could use a base Linux system and manually install N8N, but a much easier approach is to use their pre-built template. It runs Ubuntu as the operating system with N8N ready to go out of the box. Choose a password, then choose a plan for just five bucks a month. And if you're too poor to afford that, also use the code FIRESHIP to save even more money. A few minutes later, we now have access to manage our VPS on the dashboard. We could SSH into the server to manage it, but there's no need. We can just click on this button to go directly to N8N. Once you get here, you might be wondering what you do next. In my opinion, the first thing you'll want to check out are the templates. Like this one will generate AI viral videos with Nano Banana and VO3, and then share everything on social media with Platato. The actual workflows are just JSON based, or because we now have an N8N instance deployed, we can import this template directly into our own project. This one's a bit too crazy for me, so let's build a new one from scratch. On the dashboard, we have the option here to create a new node. And the first type of node you'll create is some type of trigger. It could be triggered manually or triggered on a schedule, but in many cases, you'll want to connect to some kind of third-party app. As you can see, there are hundreds of different third-party apps you can connect to, but in my case, I'm going to connect to Telegram, and I want it to trigger anytime my wife sends me a message through this app. It just provide the required config info, and you're good to go. Then from there, we can take the data received from the trigger and do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. We could send it off to AI to be analyzed, we could trigger an action in a different app, and also handle things like conditional logic like you would with code. Let's go ahead and add an if branch right here. I know if my wife sends me this emoji that I've done something really bad. I can capture that data in this conditional statement by going to the string option and using contains. And now, whenever I get a message with that emoji, I can run some code. Most importantly, the first way to resolve a domestic dispute is to order flowers. Unfortunately, there's no built-in third-party apps that can do that as far as I know, but we can also create a node here to run any arbitrary code or hit a third-party API. I know a guy that has a flowers API, so we'll go ahead and use it to order flowers for immediate delivery. That's done, but it's not enough. 
we also need to write an apology letter. Now, I have no idea what I did wrong because I didn't read my wife's message, but luckily we can have AI deal with that. We'll create a new AI agent node and give it a custom prompt to have it generate an apology letter. We can even have it use data from previous points in the workflow, like my wife's message, to customize the prompt dynamically. In addition, you'll notice the AI agent node allows us to choose any custom model we want, as well as provide data for memory and tools for the model context protocol. But now that we have an apology letter, we need a way to send it to her. I could do that with a telegram message, but I'd rather show the world what a great husband I am by tweeting it publicly on X. That's a surefire way to resolve a domestic dispute, but just in case, we'll also want to make sure to record the whole interaction on Google Sheets, as this may come in handy in future divorce proceedings. But there's so much more we could do here when it comes to running a software-as-a-service business, and it's kind of mind-blowing that we have full control over this on a $5 VPS. Huge thanks again to Hostinger for sponsoring this video, and get your own VPS with a discount code using the link below. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.